Hey nerds, it's Jerry from Them Nerds, coming to you with a character profile introduced in the new Falcon and the Winter Soldier. But before we get to that, let's talk about our giveaway. Like, subscribe, and comment below for a chance to win this Baron Zemo Funko Pop. Okay, let's get into it. So in episode 2, we see the Flag Smashers loading a plane with unknown packages. They have been tipped off that they have been found. As we watch them escape, we come to find out the group looking for them was sent by the Power Broker. In the comics, Curtis Jackson is known as the Power Broker. He is a powerful executive who branches out and starts his own company, known as the Power Broker Inc. A professional criminal, Curtis uses these skills to attempt to take control of several super-powered individuals, ultimately leading to a battle with Captain America, Falcon, and the Hulk. In defeat, Jackson finds a new plan. That plan involves Dr. Malice. Malice experiments would lead to changing power sets of already superpowered individuals and giving non superpowered individuals powers of their own. This did not come without risk. Malice lost at least half of his test subjects. Others were left mutated and deformed. Jackson and Malice keep pumping serum into these superpowered individuals to keep them under his control. During an attack on his labs, Curtis finds himself exposed to his own serum. It results in him becoming grotesquely muscle-bound and unable to move. This did not stop his evil ways. Instead, he captured Battlestar to experiment on him in order to find a cure for his own disfigurement. Luckily, Battlestar was saved by the US agent, but not before Jackson appeared in his new exoskeleton. The two fought Jackson and ultimately destroyed Malice's work and records. Now here's where things get interesting. In episode 3 of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, we see signs around Magipore stating the Power Broker is watching. In a city full of the world's criminals, the Power Broker is stating his warning. Everyone seems to be concerned to cross him, except one person. And that one person is Sharon Carter. Is it possible that the way Sharon has survived all this time is by taking over the mantle of the Power Broker? The blip could have provided the perfect opportunity to slip out of the watchful eye of Steve Rogers and the US government. She's already shown she no longer trusts the government, since being forgotten when the rest of the Avengers were pardoned. Her moral compass has shifted now to those of a smuggler, much like many others in Magiport. One thing I also noticed was that Nagel was only killed by Zemo when Sharon entered the container. How did Zemo know where that gun was? Is it possible that Agent 13 and Baron Zemo are working together? I think the biggest clue is in Sharon's last line. We have a problem. Well, actually, two of them. She completely leaves Zemo out of that equation. I think the hard streets of Magipore has created a whole new power broker. Many people believe changing an established hero into a villain like this is out of line. But let's face it, Bucky's already shown us it can happen. What do you think, nerds? Is Sharon Carter the power broker? If not, who do you think could be? Leave a comment below, and while you're there, like and subscribe. And as always, stay nerdy. On social media, at we Them Nerds on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. That's all for now. Be good, be good to each other.